Our forces have expanded. Estevakia's military forces in Ania will gradually start to diminish each time they suffer a loss in various areas. According to intelligence from our Department of National Safety, there's a section where enemy defenses are low, near Salumna Peaks in central Ania. That section of land is an ideal route for our troops to take, in terms of topography and weather as well. We're going to use this route. It's a steep mountain path covered in snow, which is extremely difficult for our ground unit to advance through, and also renders it vulnerable to air attacks. Make sure to cover our ground unit, and if you spot any threats from the sky, eliminate them. If an emergency happens to occur, deal with it in any way you see fit. Once we get past those mountains, we'll be in the center of Ania. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. Roger that. 
back off. Well, they won't get far. The chase is on. Special weapons running low.
We've got to do something about those missiles, or there won't be a Grace Maria to get back to. Thanks to your great cover, our troops were able to get through the peaks of Salemna with only minimal damage suffered. But our unit is within range of enemy cruise missile attacks for this mission. We're doing all we can to gather intelligence on the invasion and are mulling strategy options. Wait for the order to come in. I feel so lucky to have met up with Ludmilla. We've run into so many checkpoints. I don't know what we would have done without her passport. I don't think I ever would have made it alone. But as we travel through these wide open spaces, enemy troops are few and far between. Actually, we've been on this road for quite some time now without spotting a single Estovakian military vehicle. It looks like our luck has just run out. These men are partisans. A Marian like me. Ludmilla stares at me. I can see the fear in her eyes. I tried to I explain to them that Ludmilla is no threat. She is a student from Nordnavik. But I've never been much of a liar. She definitely speaks the language, but with a thick Estovakian accent. Don't waste your ammo. Just then, something roars in the sky above. Hey, look! What's going on? I know it's our only Estovaki chance of escape. Get in! Hurry! Fire! On the battlefield, you have to put luck aside and take what you get, good or bad. My fellow countrymen were killed instead of me, and that gives me an eerie sense of relief. But now I've got to accept the fact that I am the next target. It's time for me to dance with the angels.